Thank you very much. Um, distinguished people sitting in the dais, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Fifteen years ago, Cielo opened its portal to the public, and in the process, it opened a gateway of knowledge and learning. I'm personally grateful for the invitation to speak at the opening ceremony to celebrate the 15th anniversary of this network. This network is not simply a building filled with computer servers, wires and fiber optic uh, cables connecting the electronic gizmos together, but a learning institution that is woven into the fabric of today's knowledge, open knowledge society. UNESCO is honored to be associated with this event, as this event will further foster the strong bond that exists between the holy grail of scientific research, knowledge products, and their access to common women and men. I understand that the network has withered many storms, yet the resilience of a few has kept the organization marching on the road to perfection. Today, 15 years after the opening, the network's repository collection boasts um, hundreds of thousands of full text articles that gets access from places like Burundi and Nepal or West Africa, and similar other less fortunate countries and regions um, around the world. This journey to educate the masses has been made possible by the dedication and unwavering uh, commitment of many, including our good friend, Mr. Abel Packer. Research and articles have been often referred to as soul, food for soul of another research. It is networks like CLO that enables this very soul of exploration, fed, quenched, and nourished. Thus, it is the pages of uh, CLO server that future scientists can discover ideas and nourish the desire to create new science and technology. It is in these servers that the future generation of Latin America and the rest of the developing world can acquire the knowledge that they need to use and adapt to transfer their respective countries to a more developed and informed, uh, informed ones. Recognizing the centrality of the importance of CLO in building op uh, open knowledge societies, UNESCO has been supportive of this network for a long time. We believe that the network has the potentiality that we have to encourage national governments and regional bodies to support and actively engage in the current network or develop similar, similar networks in other parts of the world. The promotion of CLOs is inextricably linked to the promotion of a larger informed and knowledge society's agenda, which includes development and sustainable development and green economy. We hope that many other regions and countries will join the network and benefit from it. We have um, and will keep CLOs involved in UNESCO's line of works in open access that are focused on advocacy, bridging, capacity building, and dissemination. We have already requested a Brazilian government to undertake a feasibility study to position CLO closer to UNESCO's open access strategy. Happy birthday, CLO. As you are 15, you are a young adult now. Thus, you now have a bigger responsibility to solder to bring knowledge to the reach of uh, common women in math. Happy birthday again. <laughs>